What's going on fam? It's your favorite entrepreneur, Basin Mental. My real name is Rashad and today I'm adding more videos to my Black Lives Matter series. Um, this one is Black Lives Matter versus Blue Lives. And it ain't no editing. I'm going to just get straight into it. It's going to be raw. If you want to comment, comment. Please be respectful. Because my last couple of videos are people getting real ignorant. Please be respectful. If you got something to say, say it. And be willing to listen to others. That's why it's called a conversation. And be, please just be respectful of what comes out of your mouth. Um, so Black Lives Matter versus Blue Lives Matter. Again, another form of we don't want y'all to get whatever it is y'all want because it came as a rebuttal to Black Lives Matter. Why? Because a lot of people, I would assume, just from recent things or whatever are assuming, basically we get what we deserve. We acting like animals, so we treat it like animals and all of that sort. One, that's bull. Frankly, it's bullshit. But that's bull. And also, let, let's let's put this in, in, in a bit of perspective. As you've seen in my other videos, I've been, I mentioned slavery. The police force didn't start until slavery was abolished. You don't feel me? You don't you don't think it's real? Look it up. That's when it started. And even further before the police force was started. The police force were the ones who basically uh, reenacted the slaves. I mean, not reenacted. Um, they captured slaves when they got away, when they ran. They were the ones who went and hunted them down. Like the cowboys, you know, with the rope and all. They actually took dog stuff and hunted them down and then brought them back and would break out, break black people's legs and ankles and burn them and all of that so they wouldn't run off again. That's when that started. Then when every when everything was supposedly put into an unsegregated country, uh, they started a police force and the jail system was invented. So, gotta wonder, if they didn't have it before, then all of a sudden they release a whole lot of black people and then all of a sudden you start a jail system. You don't find that a little bit coincidental? Not even the whole, not even a little bit. And then, fun fact, if you don't know this, slavery is still active in jail systems. The pennies and quarters that they work for, slavery. So, slavery has never disappeared in this country, so stop saying it. And... I've talked with a lot of sheriffs, uh, SWAT, uh, 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 traffic police. I've talked with uh, regular patrol police. I've talked with sergeants. I've talked with lieutenants. I've talked with the everyday private. Uh, I've talked with detectives. I've talked with detectives of different cultures and ethnicities. I've, I've I've talked to white patrol officers. I've talked to black ones. I've talked to Asian ones. I've talked to Hispanic. Well, now I've talked to a Mexican, uh, Puerto Rican, um, uh, the different uh, Spanish or, or other uh, Spanish-speaking ethnicities. Uh, I've talked to so many people to come to a very firm conclusion. All police officers are not bad. A lot of them seem very genuine in what they're doing. I met the first black, uh, as far as I know, the first black female lieutenant in uh, the Baltimore's police. Why wasn't that put on the news? Y'all talking about girl power. Why wasn't she put on the news for becoming the first black female lieutenant in the police department? Y'all want to put how black women acting crazy and how black men acting crazy. Put some positivity up there. Maybe we start acting different. Like, all we see is police arresting black people. Or killing us. Ever thought about putting 
police and black people shaking hands, hugging each other, crying together. Because as far as we know, or as far as some people have been treated, police officers only hurt us. They don't do anything else. They just hurt black people. That's it. That's all they do. They just hurt us. That's, that, that's what's in, stuck in some people's minds. And I believe part of it is genetic. Part of it has been passed down from slavery. You've, like, it's been proven trauma can exist in generations. It can linger. So you got people being hunted down, strung up, ankles and legs broken, and then forced to work. Turn that into a jail system where they don't break you, they just force you to work. Or they kill you because death row. Or they just use it as a system to constantly wean you out of any form of society after you get your first misdemeanor. And you get people who are now just 100% scared of us for no reason. And I've met so many wonderful, peaceful, dope officers. A lot of them piss me off because they don't know how to talk to people. But a lot of them... You can tell which ones don't want to. It, it's not that hard. I mean, I, if you were blind to it, like a lot of America and all of the rest of the world was, if you're blind to it, of course you can't see it. You're not used to seeing this thing. But I can tell which ones sort of don't want to talk to us. Some of the ones who are a bit of, bit of uh, assholes. Some of the little troublemakers. Um, and for the ones that are dope, it is unfortunate that they are getting missed. Like the lieutenant I mentioned. I met another one, I believe, who was a major. She's a, she's a, and they are phenomenal. I met, um, some dope detectives. There's one guy who comes through every time I see him. I speak out of pure respect. Every time he, what's up, big bro? How you feeling? What's going on with you? Like, if, if the media can depict cops as more human, they can depict us as more human. Why are we always depicted as these animals that need to be caged all the time? Why? Hispanic people act like that? White people clearly act like that and they act a whole lot worse. And every, like, every ethnicity of person, as far as I've seen, act just as crazy. But we're the only ones put on TV. So this black on black crime, you miss me with that shit. You, it's bull. It's, it's, it's not real. If you put enough people around each other, eventually someone's gonna die. Regardless of the ethnicity. Someone's going to kill someone. It's, it's proven. So why are we the only ones put on TV constantly? We're less than 50. We're much, we're even less than a quarter of the population. And no one finds it weird that we don't seem to go above that either. But I digress. We're only a quarter, we're less than a quarter of the population. How are we responsible for all the crimes of a quarter of a population and the rest, a majority of the population, is white? Explain it to me. Like, and then in my last video, I, 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 I had some words uh, floating next to, I believe it was a, a little white girl who was saying, cops are scared. And uh, they need to be, their lives matter and all of that stuff. Yeah, that's cool. I, I understand that. Your job is to control your fear. That's literally in the job description. It may not be in the fine print or it may not be actually in the contract, but that comes with the job. For you to be able to get control of someone, for you to be able to put your mind thoroughly through a situation without killing someone because you're in your feelings and you're so scared, that comes with being an officer. It's almost like you give up the luxury of fear when you become an officer, just like the military. That's your job now to go to danger. Literally your job. Now, if someone's actually causing danger, you gotta do what you gotta do. I get it. I'm not saying all black people are innocent. I am not saying that in the least. I know from my own personal experiences in life, black people ain't that innocent, but neither is any other ethnicity. So why are we constantly Main, mainstreamed for it. Why? It, it doesn't make sense to me. And 
Blue Lives Matter to me is just irrelevant. Blue it's not a color of ethnicity. It's not a color of person. It's a color. Because if we really want to be technical, black don't even exist. It's all brown people. Everyone's a shade of brown. Even the darkest black person is brown. It's a darker shade of brown. So if you really want to be technical, black don't exist. White might exist. That's why you get pale. That exists. Black exists. But it's a darker and a whiter shade of brown. Because if they decide to stay in the sun and start cooking, they're going to start turning brown. But I digress. So, blue lives matter to me. Irrelevant. They do matter. Yes, no one ever said they didn't. But why do, why do they seem to treat us as if we still don't? It doesn't make sense to me. And um, with, uh, I believe uh, his name was James. James, the, he was just shot in the back by officers seven times. In front of his kids? Like, I can understand he, he may have done something wrong. He reached this. I get it. He, he did something that caught. But it's three officers. Why is he being shot seven times? I'm pretty sure there ain't that too many people in the world who can withstand, like, what is it, like 3,000 volts or something like that? 1,000 volts per shot? It's three officers. If you shoot him with three tasers, he's not going to be ready to move too much. But no, you decide to permanently paralyze him by shooting him seven times. And Breonna Taylor's killers still aren't put away? Yeah, I still think they need to arrest the killers of Breonna Taylor. Straight up. Like, I think cops also need to be held in a higher regard. Just like the military. And it's, it's so wrong about what the military is doing, too. Doing all this stuff to black women and any anyone in the military, but doing it to women and, like... My whole point is... This Blue Lives Matter stuff is a job. Your job is to go to danger and stay calm in it. As much as people want to say, oh, they're scared, they... You're scared with a gun. You're scared with a baton. You're scared and armed. And your instincts and reflexes from training so much teach you when you're scared to pull a trigger. And a lot of the world, a lot of media, a lot of stories depict black as this thing to be afraid of. You know how many people scared of the dark? Dark looks like what? Black. It's a bunch of things in movies and cinema of black things depicted as horrible, scary, something you should be afraid of. No one realized that the associate machine of a brain is going to start associating that with reality. And if you call someone black, that's what they're going to start being afraid of. But everyone loves to quote psychology and statistics when it comes to matters of the brain and what's going on with black folk. I noticed that too. And people will justify the actions of a police officer due to the black person's history. So, just for example, say someone, they had a pretty, pretty crappy life. They kept doing stuff, kept putting themselves in jail, and out of the blue, they just disappeared for a decade. And in that whole decade, they're not being written up. They ain't been pulled over for no tickets, nothing. They didn't got a job. They taking care of their family if they got one. They, they, they paying their car notes on time in school. All of this. Say you did all of that in that decade. They just never got in trouble. They run into an officer one time. Why is he dead? Why is he getting paralyzed? Why are, they, are, you, why are they being killed in their apartment for something they're not even a part of? They made an assumption on something and was wrong. Y'all can't afford to be wrong when someone's life is in danger. That, that, no. No. Like, that's not cool. It's not. It's just not cool. And I'm not saying every officer does this. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, how do you expect people like me to be okay with 
trying to change their life around when the second we get in trouble, regardless of whatever life we lived, we immediately are 100% guilty because of the actions of others. Why? Because a lot of white people's actions throughout history, y'all should be afraid of each other. Completely horrified just, just, just to be sometimes in business with each other if you look at y'all history. Nope. But a lot of history, the way it's depicted through certain visors or certain funnels, you're the blessed ones. You're, you're, you're God's chosen ones. You're the ones who shape society and you have so much privilege. And But I'm saying all of this to say you associate white with holiness, beauty, something you should love and embrace. But you associate black with everything destructive and horrifying and something you should run away from. And then you label a people that. And constantly treat them like it. Even though that holy than thou looking person is a whole lot worse. And it's been proven when that holy art than thou looking person can walk down the street with an AR-15, shoot two people, walk up to cops, and be appreciated for it. I don't hear anyone appreciating, uh, though I believe it was in LA or other parts of the country, of other people in protest standing in front of targets and other people's businesses protecting them from rioters and protesters. I don't see no thank yous for that. I don't see no appreciations from officers going out to them. And I talked to a sheriff. I talked to sheriffs as well. I talked to a sheriff and he was saying he agrees with Black Lives Matter. He does not agree with the party. He does not agree with the, 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 uh, the organization. Because the organization is influenced by a party and that party is trying to push an agenda to get control of something. I agree. If that is what the Black Lives Matter movement or the organization has become, it needs to stop. But Black Lives Matter needs to continue. Recognizing that we matter needs to continue. Like, it, it needs to. Because we got to matter to the police, too. We have to matter to the police. We're still people. Just as much as they are. The only difference is, on a, a random day, they're armed with a gun. They're armed with weapons. We may got a cell phone. That's what we got to use to protect ourselves now. And I'm not going to say some of the ways some of the uh, black people have been handling some of the stuff is right. Some of them have been handling it wrong when they get pulled over and everything. I agree. But. Why do we have to end up hurt or injured or dead every time we get pulled over? First time I got pulled over, and I probably mentioned it in one of my videos before, I literally felt the fear of God run through my body for a taillight. A taillight. A taillight, bro. And ladies, like a taillight scared me. But I've seen videos of white people being pulled over and cussing the police out. I'm talking about full-blown... Why the fuck are you pulling me over? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? You need to get the hell out of my face so I can get where I'm going. Blah, blah, blah. Cussing them completely out. All right, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disturb you. Thank you for your time. Black dude asking, well, why am I being detained? Yanked out the car and beat up. There was a dude walking from a store. I saw a video of a dude walking from a store. I wish I could remember his name. Y'all forgive me. There was a man walking from a store, and he was mad. He could, I guess, he could make a deposit. And uh, uh, an officer walked up on him, saying, "We need, sir, we need to turn you behind your back or arrest you." But not telling him why. He asked why he being detained. He just came out of a store, and the officer standing there with the camera on. I guess it was his body cam or cam on the guy. Is asking him about what happened transpired in the store. They trying to arrest him, uh, someone with a warrant on him, and he don't even look like the dude who got the warrant. He's refusing to go because, one, he's in the right. Two, they're not explaining what's going on, which means he's in the right. 
and he wasn't wrong. He wasn't resisting. There was another officer there talking to him. Another officer got called, pulled up, and straight put the dude on his neck. Like, put him on his rear, picked him up, slammed him. And they were wrong, and now he's suing them. And the officer who was there basically corroborated the whole thing. Like, they were, how does it get that bad? He followed the book. Everyone's saying we need to follow the book. Follow the book. And it's so terrifying because we don't know what to do anymore. We do a lot. A lot of us will do what officers say without question. We don't know what else to do because we keep ending up dead for every little thing. If we look too fast at an officer, we just might get punched in the face for nothing. If we look too fast on the other way, oh, we got drugs. If we look too much like someone, we need to go to jail. And even if we don't look like someone enough, they can put us in jail. That's that put something on our record. So the next time we get locked up, it's all okay now. Just like this and it's okay with, uh, I believe, um, Mr. James, uh, the man who was shot and paralyzed seven, uh, with seven bullets in his back. People, people were saying, oh, it's okay they shot him because of his history. Are you serious? And from what, from far as I, if I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. But as far as I know, he was stopping a domestic dispute. How the fuck is he end up paralyzed? How? It's 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 wrong. If I'm not wrong, with Breonna Taylor, like her and the dude she was with had nothing to do with the drugs being sold, so she was murdered. Point blank. And if I'm not wrong, one of the officers who murdered her had multiple cases against them already. For the same dumb shit. How? Is she, how are they not arrested yet, bro? How? Explain it to me. Please, someone explain it to me. I am not saying any of us are innocent. But the ones that are should not be killed. Handle them the same way you would handle that white boy who's chasing you down with your own weapon, officer. And officers, y'all gotta, I, I was, there's gotta be some program, some reform or something to show that y'all are human. Because as far as we can tell, we just y'all target. Black men end up dead, black women end up hurt. We're not even going to discuss how wrong that is. But it seems like black men end up dead more often, if anything. So, little problem with that. I just... It sounds like everyone's saying it's okay because of people's history. But it is supposed to be the land of equality. Home of the brave, the free. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm not. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing equality. When a 17-year-old boy can carry an AR, but a 16-year-old or younger wearing a hoodie deserves to be shot because he scared someone too much. Hoodie ring any bells? Like, or someone being pulled over, arrested, ended up dead, and they take mug shots of the person just before they die? Sandra Bland. As far as I know, that's her story. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. But why? It doesn't make sense to me. And it sounds like it's much easier to kill a black man for his history than anyone else. In my opinion, I am not, repeat, not, I am not ignoring black women's struggle and problems with this. That is not what I'm doing. I am just saying from my from me observing we black men end up dead much more often and quicker than black women. I'm not saying they deserve to be killed any quicker or any faster. That is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying why do we have to be killed at all? If we're not doing something that basically allows you or puts you in a situation where you have to pull the trigger on us but People who look like you, civilians, can take your cars and your weapons and chase you down with them. No shots fired. 
walking towards you with a weapon. No, put the gun down, no stop moving, no hands up, no nothing. Just a pre we appreciate you and give you some water. You end up in a juvenile detention center. Yet yeah, there's a there's a video I saw uh, not a video I saw a meme or picture today of a boy named Khalif who did far less if not any of that at all ended up in a maximum security prison. He was 16. <laughs> What's the difference? One did far less, no weapons, completely and utterly humiliated with the amount of time he got to spend in jail. The other one. Killed two people, probably carrying an illegal firearm, and a group of protesters. Rewarded for it, only receiving juvenile. I say that hopefully I'm speaking correctly. If not, let me know in the comments. But when I speak to officers about what black people are feeling when they're approached by officers. The bad ones are the ones that have been associated with all of them. And I just told you, I've given you examples of women and men that I've met at my job at a gas station in Baltimore City where I meet them all day. They're, most of them are pretty dope people. A lot of the ones that talk to me, have conversations, say hi to me every day. A lot of them are pretty dope people. Quite a bit of them are assholes. It's, that's just facts. Anywhere you go, you're going to get nice people and assholes. But this seems like the assholes get a whole lot more reward than the good ones. Like the first black female, I believe she's a lieutenant or sergeant. She's up there. She's at the, one of the top ranks in Baltimore City Police. And there's another one below her that's a major. Top ranking, like women in military. Why is that not on TV? Why is that not on the news? Why is it not over social media? Why is it not put out there that a black woman can make it this high? Oh, and I talked to her and she said she's dealing with sexism and racism while at her position. I've talked to officers who said They've hurt. Let's go get these niggas. So we're not wrong for feeling what we're feeling. And we're not wrong for saying we don't need to end up dead for it either. I believe there's a just cause for most of, this, most of these situations. If someone is about to kill someone, yes, you pull the trigger. If they just ask him what's wrong, what did I do? Why am I being detained? Which is their right. You pull a gun on him. I saw a video of a woman, two women on their porch doing nothing but talking. And an officer walked up, as far as I know, he said, fit the description, pointed a taser at her, and electrocuted her. Says she's resisting arrest when she wasn't. Because there was no reason to arrest her. Tased her. Then put cuffs on her. And I believe a lot of the main reasons why black people have the reactions that we have with cops is because we low-key fear them, fear them for our lives. Like the girl said in the video. Cops fear for theirs. We fear for ours. The difference between the two, one has a gun and other weapons and a protocol to follow while the other one's a civilian. Who may not know any other protocol that they need to follow when being addressed by someone who has everything that can take their life. No one found that a little weird either. So, uh, again, this, this isn't going to be edited. It, it, I'm just getting this out because it's been a poison for me. It slowed me down in building my business. I probably hurt a client that's been faithful with me because I let this distract me from what I've been trying to do. Because it's important to me. Like, I always, I'm going to be straight up and say I judge people when I meet them. A lot of people won't admit that. But I also know it's a natural instinct for humans, animals, anything of that. Anything in alive, it, judgment is what helps you survive. It, it's a thing. Like, it's literally a thing. You're going to have, it, it's, you, you, yes, you can work on it. You can control it a bit, but 
it hasn't steered me wrong, but I also I leave a, 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 a I leave a door or a window open for people to change my perception. I'm not just this is who you are. This is what I saw. This is all it is. I'm not that kind of person. A lot of black people aren't that kind of people. We're actually, from what I've been experienced in my life, we're very welcoming people. We have a lot of issues we need to work on, yes, but we're very welcoming people. We welcome all, we, as far as I was, you know, we welcome everybody in. And it's, I don't, I, again, like I said in my previous videos, I don't get it. I don't, I don't see the equality. Because the Constitution says it doesn't have to be. I don't see the fairness. I don't see the rewards that my ancestors earned. I don't see the protection we're supposed to get. Because we feel unprotected all the time. Black people feel like they're protected. They're unprotected all the time. I believe God got me. I do believe God's going to protect me. Yes. And walking into it as a, as a black male, I feel like there's no protection for me. Black women have tried. It sucks. And you can see the, the things it's turned black women into. I just don't... I really, I really start to feel... Like, black men are truly unprotected. There's nothing to protect us. And if we try to protect ourselves, we end up dead. Or we end up on the wrong side of the law, and then that ends up killing us too. Like, we don't got enough to deal with just being black in the hood. Just being in the hood, you got enough to deal with just from hood stuff. Hood, just from the streets. Then, we, then on top of that, you feel like you got to worry about cops. You know, on top of that, you got to figure out, worry about the rest of society point, basically pointing a target on your back of, you a black guy, like, always, you, you, you need to be feared. And you don't even know me. You don't know anything about me. But you need to fear me. For what? There's no reason for you to fear me yet. And I'm still probably not going to give you a reason to fear me because I'm not that guy. And it seems like a lot of cops want to be feared and don't want to do their jobs. They, I guess, assume that their job is supposed to come with this disdain respect because they decided to put on a badge and go into danger. No, I respect you for it. You 100% you gave up a privilege of not having to face danger. To go face it. And I've met women and men who say they love being police. People piss them off. But they love doing what they do. And it, it, I can't help but feel like those are the people that are so missed out on. Because of the dumb, the, 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 the idiots. The ignorant ones. Sorry, there was a mosquito. I can't stand it. The ignorant, the ignorant ones, the ignorant officers that we are tired of. But of course, that's always our fault. We can't afford to be tired of them because we need to be grateful we were born in America. Uh, and to those people who think we're Nazis... Um, you're an idiot. Uh, if we were Nazis, we wouldn't be letting people, black, white people, anyone of any other ethnicity join our protests. Because every one of those other ethnicities have been through the same shit. There's a reason why the whole world is against police brutality. There's a reason why the whole world is standing up against it. And there's also a reason why police want to police police brutality. <laughs> like... There's a video of a black woman checking a, bl a white man and his stupid way of trying to handle the protesters and all of that. And she was an officer. They're officers. 
They were both wrong. He was wrong. It's in one of, it's in one of my, I'm pretty sure it's in my previous video. With um, the masses and the whole world basically saying this. So, I'm probably not going to get it until someone can explain it to me. So, if you've made it this far in the video, leave a, leave a comment. Please be respectful of myself and each other. Please. Trying to have a conversation. Even a debate, not an argument or a challenge of intellects. Because you think my grammar or sentence structure in terms of making an argument through text messaging or replying to your comment is a little inadequate or ineffectual to what I'm trying to say versus what you want to comprehend because I need to speak English in a proper dialect so you can understand me. I don't speak like that. I speak like that when necessary, but I don't need to. You feel me? Like that's not, that's not my, that's not how I naturally talk. I learned how to, but that's not how I, that's not any me. And the fact that you won't try to understand me because of that is pure ignorance. And the fact that any person can sit here and say everything black people have gotten from the police they deserved is BS. Because of a slight mis mis in mis misinterpretation or misperception of what's going on. Oh, we need to think. But why officers also need to be seen as human again. And treat people like they're human. You're in a job of service. You are servicing the community you in with your you're servicing the community you are in with your protection. Be a part of that community. You'll get a lot more respect from Black people, whatever other ethnicity of people, if you actually join the people. I met, I met a sheriff who said he could treat it like a king on his block or in his neighborhood because they know he's about that life. He gonna do what he gotta do. He know his job as a sheriff. He know how to carry himself. But at the same time, he protects the community. He not having no drugs on his block or in his community. He No, it's not, it's not tolerated. And the drug deal is respected. You, so you mean to tell me one cop, one sheriff has the respect of the people at one point in time they used to get control of black people because of the riots after Martin Luther King's death? Oh yeah, that was a thing in Baltimore. Officers went to drug dealers to get control of the people. Now all of a sudden we're too out of control to be talked to. We just deserve to be shot, killed, tased, beaten f just because we looked the part or we got angry on a bad day or we stepped out of y'all little box for 2.5 seconds because we're human. We, we can't afford to be black and human. We're either black or human. But then the black people start saying, you're either an officer or you're human. And then a lot of officers start coming up missing. Guess who's wrong? I'm not saying I'm going to do any of this. I'm just, I'm giving examples and hopefully analogies for people to catch on to what I'm saying. Black people are not innocent and neither are officers. If you think, really, really think about it, black people and officers are actually two sides of the same coin. No. Two types of people prosecuted because of what they look like and what they do, regardless of whatever misconceptions you have in the middle, whatever insinuations or misinterpretations you have about their jobs and how they're supposed to do it or how they need to carry themselves every day on the street so they can get home safely. 
No? That don't sound like one person instead of two different people to you? Or... Like... There's... So much in calm... That's why I said in my last video... Twice, I believe, towards the end... Hello, pot. Meat kettle. If y'all would just shut up and listen... You have a whole lot in common. Officers and black people have a whole lot in common. If they would just give each other the time to listen. Black people have, in my opinion, withdrawn from their communities. Still live in them. Don't do nothing for them. Officers withdrawn from communities, but they still patrol them. Don't sound familiar? Black people. Complain about things not getting done. Complain about drugs being sold on their corner. Complain about making a call for officers to show up and they don't get there in time. They get there hours, if not days later, because of, of, because of whatever. But then on the officer side, they got to show up days later because they swamp with other calls. That, that, no, don't, don't sound like the other side of the coin. It don't sound like that they're busy doing their job, if they're actually doing it. Because I've heard a couple officers in Baltimore say, Oh, I'm glad I don't live here. I live in Pennsylvania. I've heard an officer, this officer had on a white shirt. Uh, oh, this is in my district, and it's crime happening right in front of him. Not that, no. Okay, so let, let me flip it back to the dark, the black side of the coin. Um, someone selling drugs on your block. You tired of the drugs being sold. Why aren't you the one telling them to get off your block? Why aren't you the one? Yo, we don't do that around here. Oh, because you're more afraid of the drug dealer than you are of the cop who by law is supposed to follow these protocols to not kill you, and doesn't, but another one who has no protocol. You just disrespect him the wrong way, and nowadays because of how sensitive all of these boys are with respect and what they think respect is, they ready to shoot at the drop of a hat. Don't sound familiar of cops being too scared to not pull a trigger because of what you look like? No? Let, let's see if I can give you another example. Um, crime happening. You call the police, they show up, and you're snapping at the police for not being here as you were getting robbed. But... You could have just as easily set up a situation where you weren't robbed in the first place. Hello, pot. Meat kettle. Y'all would really get along if you would just shut up. Shut the hell up and listen. Hear each other out. Actually have a conversation and talk. You have a lot more in common. And the even crazier part is, is people... There's black people doing a lot of the dark shit to black people. So th this is Momi my plug for a video I got coming next about w w what is wrong with us? Black people doing this to black people? But we love each other and we got to look out for each other in our communities and respect each other and all of that good stuff. Yet we so quick to pull the trigger on each other. We won't even hear each other out. We won't even talk. You just another nigga. Bow. Are you kidding me? We should have the most compassion for each other because we know what each other is going through. We may not know the extent, but we have a pretty good assumption of what is going on. And... Flip to that blue side of the coin. So do they. 
They've dealt with enough situations to know and can tell by the look in some of us, in some of our eyes, what's going on with us. What we're going through. Based on their own experiences and what they've experienced as cops. So hello again, pot, meat, kettle. It's easy to point a finger at anyone for doing anything. But it's so much harder to point that finger at yourself and say, I fucked up. I messed up. I deserve what consequences I'm getting because I did that to me. I did that to them and it was wrong. And I keep seeing no one wants to admit they're wrong or cause this problem or cause this trauma to anyone or any ethnicity of people because if they cause that destruction, if they cause that trauma, they are now responsible for the repair. And the root of the word reparations is repair. And if it's not the root of it, repair is in the word. And no one wants to take responsibility for their own BS anymore. Why I'm acting like this? Oh, it's because my dad. You a 21 year old man. Oh, why am I acting like this? Because when I was 18, I was bullied. You a 25 year old cop. You're still being bullied because you haven't gotten over it. You're still suffering from your father's actions because you haven't decided what you were going to do in spite of it. You let it push you into the very same thing you're so disgusted by. You never notice that a lot of those fathers who left their kids have boys who grow up to become s <laughs> the same thing they were. In and out of jail. Baby mothers everywhere. Not there for your kids. No jobs to do anything. Behind on child support. Officers. Like, and again, all officers aren't bad. We know this. I've met a lot of them that make my somewhat unbearable job much more bearable. Female and male alike. I don't like how a lot of them talk to me. But that is a different conversation. But this is... Like I've said before, a job of service. You are providing your service of protection to the communities. If you do not want to provide that protection and give up the privilege of being able to be fearful, you need to not have that job. If you can't put aside your biases to fully evaluate and get through a situation, you need to not have that job. If you can't seem to control your itchy trigger finger because of what you heard about what this person looks like and because they look too much like someone who committed a crime and you are fearful of this this person being that person even though you know for real that they are but they look too similar. You need to pull the trigger. But in a lot of cases we are wrong. Black folk, in a lot of cases, we are wrong. We are just as wrong. But also, we've tried, so, there's so many cases of us trying to do it the right way and still getting the same results. And I cannot say officers haven't done the same. So to me, again, black lives still matter. Blue lives? Irrelevant. You do matter. In terms of this argument, we're basically saying, hey, we're human too. Hey, we have rights too. Yo, what's up, my guy? Like, what's going on? Yay. Yeah, What's up, what's up, Miss Officer? How you feeling today? 
We're still human. We're not animals. We're not some random species that landed on the planet. We're technically your walking ancestors. But... And I'm... If this doesn't make sense, let me know in the comments. Again, this is me ranting. I'm trying to get out all of this that's in me because I, I got to make moves. I, I got a mission I'm on. If y'all haven't seen the video, I'm trying to get to 200... I mean, trying to get to 200K, but my goal right now is 20K uh, subscribers. So I got to make moves. I, I need to get past this. And I've always been a confrontational person. Going around it ain't going to help. I'm going to straight to it. I, I got to get this out of my system, y'all. So, just, there's a lot of reforming that needs to happen. I, I'm going to say this also. I'm surprised I haven't said it yet. I do not agree with defunding the police. And, uh, I may be wrong because I'm not sure of how much of the budget of cities goes to police or whatever. I'm not sure. I have not done my research on that. I'm going to be honest about that. I do agree with maybe limiting the budget a bit more, but completely defunding or maybe like taking some back. Yes, I agree. Like there, there's a picture I saw of people relating it to like a bowl of ice cream and you just taking one scoop out or whatever, because there's so much more money you can give back to communities and schools and all that that's being put into protection of the communities themselves. That's a lot of money that could have been going to communities. I don't agree with defunding. 100%. Some of it, yes. 100% no. Because their jobs are rough. Their jobs are extremely rough. They literally have to run to every single danger. Anytime there's a call about one. Regardless of how stupid... Or how literally dangerous it is. That's their job. So I have nothing but respect for officers. I have nothing but respect for sheriffs. I have nothing but respect for detectives. CIA. A commissioner. Deputy. But like, I have nothing but respect for them because of the life they chose. And that's the, the service they chose to put themselves in. I have nothing but respect to those who do their job and do it well. But to the assholes who make them look bad, you don't deserve the badge, the respect, the honor, the, the nothing. You need to be out of it. Because you're giving the good office, some of the good officers I've met a bad rep. And they don't deserve it. And because of how the human brain works, we're associating every officer with being just as dangerous as the one that shot Mr. James nine times and paralyzed him or killed Breonna Taylor. We're associating that with all officers because of the same reason you associate, you associate all of us with being killers. Hello, pot. Meat kettle. Y'all have a lot in common if you would shut the hell up and listen to each other. Like, Uh, I, a lot of a lot of the people I met, I've grown to really like like they're really dope people. They just chose to be officers. It's really that, like, and let me say this. I'm gonna say this now. I don't black people. You ain't got stop telling these boys and girls they can't be officers. Stop telling them that. I, for the life of me, could not grasp. I believe it was this week or last week. I heard a black woman tell a black boy. A, a, an adult black woman had a black boy carry water, walking with her across the gas, the gas pumps I was at and told him, we don't mess with cops. The boy said, why? She said, because they just kill us. You're teaching that to like a four or five year old, bro? Like, she really said, she was walking by me and really said this to him. Oh, we got to stay away from them. They just kill us. Now he's going to grow up with a pre-implant in his head that he's going to die at any time an officer has to approach him. Now it's going to create a fear for an angry reaction of fight or flight. He could end up dead. 
if you want to really sit and look at it. We got to let, we, we, we got to stop that. We got to stop paint. We got to stop painting everyone as these criminals and these mercenaries. That's got to stop on our behalf too. Like I just said, I've met a plethora of officers that I absolutely adore. They are dope people. And I've said it time and time again, I respect them for having to go to danger. I don't always respect what they do. I don't always respect black people for causing an officer to arrest them. But I do respect that a lot of them had the decency and self-control to question the officer properly. To get through the situation equally just so they can get home and see their family. Pot and kettle. Two sides of the same coin. If you would shut up and listen to each other. I don't agree with a lot of the videos I've seen of black people getting hurt for no reason. I don't agree with a lot of seemingly white people getting away with it all. I don't like the officers applauding them either. But there are a lot of officers that blatantly are like, I'm not okay with any of this shit. I actually talked to a, 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 a black guy who's an officer. And he, he enlightened me to something else I wasn't aware of in, in terms of how I was looking at all of these situations. And part of it is, it takes two to tango. And any time an officer shows up, you got to deal with someone else. And a lot of people ain't going to come easily. Their job's going to be a bit rough. That's why I don't agree with a lot of the defunding. I agree with some of it, but not all of it. They still got a job to do. And I know, just being black in Baltimore, black people can be extra. We can be a lot to deal with. But a lot of us want the same things you want. And officers, like the girls in the video, just want to get home to their families. Black people just want to survive long enough to get home to their families. And we are constantly put in a state of survival. Which is why we react the way we do to everything. It's always a fight or flight, and we've seen flight does not work. So we fight, hoping to just make it home. Officers, unfortunately, don't have the choice of flight. They have to fight too. And all they want to do is make it home. So I say all of that to say, There are good people. There are a lot of good people. There are so many good people that are missed on both sides of this equation. We need to start acknowledging and pumping up those people. Appreciating them for the positivity and the good things that they do. Not saying it's okay to be treated however you're treated negatively. Simply because of a misinterpretation of a situation that caused a fearful or frightening reaction to result in someone's death. It does not and shouldn't have to come to that every single time. I do believe there's a just time for some people to be killed. I do believe there's a just time for some people to be shot. They don't always need to be killed. And then I've also been told officers, I've been told two different things about how officers are trained to use their guns. Officers are trained to shoot the body because they got to stop you before you can hurt them. But they've also been taught to shoot the limbs and everything else too so they don't have to kill you. Which means... 
a lot of officers that are killing us seem to be doing it intentionally. And even if it is their instincts, their instincts are saying, this person is going to kill me. Even though they're not going to. So your fear is what's making that trigger finger itchy. And it's pulling every single time. And I'm going to say it again because I've said it probably two or three. Arrest the killers of Breonna Taylor. Convict the shooters of Mr. James. And any other wrong that's been done by the police. And praise the good officers who are doing the damn thing. That are showing up for their communities. That that are, are respectful and give respect and have conversations with you that will literally explain to you their job and what they're supposed to do so you can better have information on how to defend yourself and carry yourself in situations. Please, I would love to come out of this corona, all of this craziness in a changed world that's actually equal and not some fairy tale fantasy because of a perpetuated lie black people have seen this lie long enough and we are tired like if i kind of see black people as this this gentle giant that just decided to get angry that just let the anger in. That just decided to get pissed off. And if you piss off a giant enough, they're going to do something about it. That's how I'm looking at it, at least part of it. I uh, I know I look a little rough right now. This is uh, courtesy of Corona and just personally bad decisions. Um, but, again... I have a healthy respect for everyone. Uh, and in this video, I just wanted to say, I see both sides. I see the pot and the kettle. I see the lies in between too. I just want to live in a better world where I can be comfortable with having a child and not be afraid that my child won't make it home because they were too black on a specific day. Or an officer was too angry on a specific day. Are they good? I don't, I'm not saying I'm respecting perfection out of either side of this coin. I'm just tired of seeing people who look like me dead and prosecuted for nothing but I'm also tired of those positive people officers completely going unnoticed because of the wrong ones who seem to be reaping the most rewards from doing what they're doing So I'm your favorite entrepreneur, Basemental. My real name is Rashad. I'm a black man in America. And I'm saying any child who wants to be an officer should be an officer. But make sure you're ready and prepared for what you're going to have to deal with. Because it's a hard job. It's not easy. You got to deal with a lot of BS and a lot of crazy stuff. And you gotta be able to maintain your composure. You gotta be able to control yourself in all of these situations. And people pointing a gun in your face. And people treating you like you're the scum of the earth for putting a badge on your chest. For people, you, you gonna, you're gonna have it hard sometimes. You're going to have some hard days where you may have to see a child dead. 
see a wife dead, hear about a wife killing a child or a husband molesting their children and everything of that sort. Black people coincidentally have to deal with the same shit. We just don't feel like anyone's going to help us do it. We don't feel protected. We don't feel like we're going to have the health. We don't feel like anyone's going to be there to help us. So then you get the chaos you got now. I, um... In this equation, no one is completely innocent. It all comes down to the equation of the situation. What plus what multiplied by what equals the result we get. I I still wish I could go out and protest. Uh, but since I'm not going to because of the possibility of Corona getting home to my family, this is how I'm going to choose to do it. Just, we need to come to, oh, come on. We need to come to respect and love each other. Point blank, period. And with that being said, I'm going to talk about another argument I think is irrelevant, but necessary. Because all black lives matter, right? Let me know what you think. Do black lives actually matter? Do black lives matter to officers? To all, do officers matter to black people? Do trans lives matter to black people and officers? I'm getting it all off my chest. Uh, I appreciate you for getting through this video. If you have, make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe. There are going to be a few more videos coming out attached to this series. Again, it's going to be raw, unedited. If it looks stupid and messed up, I'm just getting this off my chest. Sorry if it's bad quality, but maybe if you get past the quality of how it's edited, you might learn something. You might hear something that can help you understand why and what um thank you i appreciate you i know i said it before i am basic mental your favorite entrepreneur my real name is rashad and i'm a black man in america peace blessings and i'll see you in the next video. To all my officers, I salute you. To all of my military, I salute you. And to all of my black people, I salute you. Peace.